So you have a brother that was injured after a group of bounty hunters illegally entered his family's home while this man's wife and young grandchildren were present. So they said in the Harris County Sheriff's Office, this right here in the Houston area, said three bounty hunters are facing charges after they illegally entered a home in the Houston suburb of Cyprus and engaged in a shootout with a resident. Is that after mistaking him for a fugitive listed on a bail warrant. So the resident, uh, Ricky Brandon, um, told the media that there were three men in black tactical gear pulled up in front of, you know, the man's home and they jumped out of the vehicle sh shouting with guns drawn. It was a little after 8 AM, um, after the brother had just got home. Now they said the three bounty hunters have been identified as Angel Galvan, uh, Farukur, Sadiq and Frederick Randall is the three. Now they said he thought he was getting robbed. He said he tried to rush inside his home and close the door, but they forced their way inside and say the brother rushed to got his gun. They had a shootout and, and all three of them was firing their weapons at the brother. Now, meanwhile, the brother's wife, Takia Thompson is in the house. She's trying to make it outside the house with the couple's young grandchildren and say, but when he got downstairs, she was met. Uh, with by one of the bounty hunters, right? So he, she, the sister said he told us to get on the ground or he gonna shoot us. And she didn't know what was going on. Say, who are you? They have kids in the house, they have babies in here. Now just imagine that brothers and sisters, they just showing up at your house, acting a fool in, in just tactical gear. Like you don't know who these people are or whatever. So the brother did the right thing. He, he started firing back at him. Like, who are you? You didn't identify yourself. You just start showing up, drawing guns on somebody. So the sister made it outside the home. Um, but the shootout, they say inside continued to one of the bounty hunters claim to be members of law enforcement. So the brother put his gun down, according to him and said, look, I'm coming out. He said, he came out, he said, he threw the cuffs on him and they started just beating him. Now, according to what they said in the Houston Chronicle, uh, one of the bounty hunters was struck in, in the arm by the gunfire, bravo the brother, he, he, he was a good shot. And um, his accomplices, you know, fled the home. Um, they said Brandon told the media that he was hit in the head with a gun and taken outside to sheriff's deputies. Now the deputy um, had responded to multiple 911 calls by shots fired. Um, they say reported that when the authorities arrived, uh, Brandon was being detained by the three bounty hunters, some of the brother. Um, they disarmed the bounty hunters, sent one of them to the hospital to be treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Um, they conducted interviews with the rest of the bounty hunters, and according to state law, they said uh, they cannot, you know, enter your home illegally. Talking about bounty hunters cannot do that, nor can they pose as an officer or any federal agent by wearing or carrying or displaying a badge. They said all other uh, family members in the home were unharmed. Um, they will be charged with burglary and felony after injury is what they're going to be charged. And they were released, you know, on bond, but that is crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, you went to the wrong home shooting up the place. That is crazy. But you know, the brother had three different people shooting at him and he still hit one of them. You know, you gotta have your practice your second amendment rights. I always tell black folks that practice your second amendment rights. Since you live in the state of Texas, you know, definitely, you know, of course do everything legal and lawful, of course, but practice second amendment rights, because like I said, they could have possibly killed that brother that day, you know, and talking about, oops, we didn't know, you know, so he had a way to defend himself. Um, you know, he would, he would bring them that heat. So use the people like that, not used to somebody shooting back at them anyway. But you know, leave me a comment. Let me just think about this situation. I mean, like I said, this is a, a crazy story, like right here in the Houston area. But uh, I'm, I'm glad that the kids are okay and, and the wife and definitely the brother.